Hi, this is EH Dunn. Good evening. Good evening. I'm kind of late and I'm kind of early. Normally, I'm not on this early most of the time. Rank up, but, oh, oh, hello. This is Avatar with the, with the seven raid. Thank you very much, Avatar. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you. I have a feeling you were playing the Long Dark. Let me take a look. I think you said you were going to do the breakfast challenge. Uh, shout out there. Yeah. So how did that go? How was your stream? Let me know. We just got started here. So, yeah, um, I'm coming on a little bit early because I got stuff I want to do in the morning, which means I want to get up early, which means I want to go to bed early. So you move everything up and you hope that works out. You were doing the breakfast challenge, then episode four. Oh, I still need to do episode four. Gosh. Ugh. Yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there someday. But, um, yeah, so... I was a little bit late because I was getting my tea, but I'm also early, so I feel like that counterbalances being late. That uh, breakfast tournament seems so hard to me. I'm amazed at the stuff people are doing with that. That seems super, super challenging. So credit to you for giving that a shot. That's uh, that's a mountain that I walked by and went, yep, yeah, nope, that one's not for me. <laughs> Bad RNG kept getting blizzards, yeah. Yeah, TLD will throw those blizzards at you, that's for sure. But uh, I am ready to roll the intro and get into this one. We're at day 178 on our Loper run. I would really like to get to day 180. Um, and then, then we're only 20 days from uh, 200. So why don't we roll the intro and we will just get into it. Let's go. And we're back. Should be all set. Absolutely, Avatar. Go get your food. Five hour stream is incredibly long. It's far longer than I could do. Um, if we resume, we'll end up in a will stand still. So we don't want that. So load that. And let's see. I think we were, yeah, we we're right by the road. This is kind of like our mini base. We have a whole bunch of food outside. We've got this bear hide curing. Let's just keep it over here so I don't. Forget it. If we leave, we are on day 178. We just killed the um, creek bear yesterday. And so one bear is currently still alive in uh, Coastal Highway at the moment. That is the upper coastal bear. We cooked up a whole bunch of food yesterday. Hey, Burb. Nice to see you. And uh, most of the wolves are dead at the moment, although some of them are on their way to respawning. And I think my biggest immediate concern is the um, bow. I might want to head back to um, the gas station and make a new one. Bear murder was a success, yes. So I've kind of been building little stockpiles in different parts of Coastal of just stuff I killed. The bear itself, um, I didn't really take any meat from him. A little bit. Not too much. I took his hide. That was about it. But I think I'm gonna head back to the gas station. And, uh, grab my hides that are curing here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I think you can. 
And uh, we'll uh, see if we can uh, maybe produce another bow. Hey, Druid. Nice to see you. Right now, I, I like my plan that I had at the end of last night's stream, which was to really make sure that I never miss an opportunity to use uh, daylight uh, um, for a mag lens fire, to use sunlight, excuse me. So we're going to, the primary focus today is murder number three. Upper Coastal Bear. That's our big target. I did uh, two TikToks before the uh, stream. So I have my TikTok upload for tomorrow and Monday already done. So I don't have to do those tomorrow. I am streaming early so that I can go to bed early. So I can get up at O Dark 30. Try to wrap this thing up. Lots of will stand still tomorrow. It was kind of a moment where I went back into my um, one more turn to edit today. And I'm like, okay, I need to do this and this and this. And then I opened it up and I'm like, oh, all right, and that. I forgot about that. Oh, and that. Okay. Oh, all right, and that. Oh, that? I thought I did that. Oh. Oh, I didn't do that either? Yeah. In some cases, I decided how to fix things, but I didn't actually fix them. 75% done? Wow. That's very exciting. Might be joining me to make some progress. That would be weird. Having you read one more turn during Will Stand Still where some of it was written. Have I seen this dead guy? I'm sure. Yeah, I know. No, I haven't. Didn't matter. I'm too cold. I think. You're fine. Astrid, you always think you're not fine, but in reality, you're very fine. We'll let you warm up over here. I'm not hearing any howling. I did have a will stand still run get interrupted by timber wolves today. Happens at times. I feel like if you have a pry bar, you should be able to just rip these boards off and open this thing. What are they hiding from me in there? How has your weekend been, Burp? Annie showed me the pictures of your pumpkin bread. They're very cute. If you stream today, I'm sorry, I wasn't there. I attended no one's stream. This is good though, I'm tired already. Didn't do too much today, but play plague and hang out with Mr. Bird. Those sound like great activities. Mr. Burb definitely sounds like a great guy. Square fellow. Got to talk with his dad. Oh, that's nice. I talked to my parents this morning. Oh, yeah, this morning. I was like, oh, I need to tell this story on stream. So I call my parents every Saturday morning. And I do remember that last week, my mom had mentioned to me that my dad was getting like an eye surgery or something. That was coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm like, all right. So I just filed that somewhere in my pile of crap in my brain. 
So I'm talking to my dad this morning, and he says, did mom tell you about my surgery? And I'm like, um, maybe? He's like, yeah. Um, so I'm having cardiac surgery next week. And uh, I went to see this one doctor, and he wanted $1,800 up front. And I said, no way. So now I'm going to see this other woman, and she seems much better. I'm like, wait, what? You're having cardiac surgery? Yeah. Yeah, cardiac surgery. And it cost $1,800, and the guy wanted cash? Yeah, he wanted cash. Isn't that weird? Extremely. Extremely weird. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, this other lady, she seems like she knows what she's doing. Then, then a collect. I'm like, wait a minute. Do you mean cataract surgery? Yeah, that's what I said. No. <laughs> that is not what you said. <laughs> you said cardiac surgery. <laughs> oh, well, I meant cataract surgery. So, uh, the apple does not fall far from the tree here. I think it's probably part of this, the lesson of this story. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> So, cardiac surgery is not the same thing as cataract surgery. Like, so you're going to pay someone $1,800 cash to, to do heart surgery out of the back of his, his uh, car? It is weird that the guy wanted $1,800 up front for the eye surgery. That's still weird. Same thing. <laughs> exactly. What? I guess they get for eye surgery, or at least for the cataract surgery, they give you some kind of like, I forget what the kind of anesthetic is called, where you don't really get knocked out, but you don't remember what, like, you're not asleep, but you don't remember what happened. And that's the, the local, and that's what he's going to get. And that just, that seems very creepy to me. Yeah, just knock me out. Don't, don't go halfway with it. I don't want to be awake during eye surgery, thank you. I don't care if I'm not going to remember it. I think I'm going to remember it. Oh good, another hammer to go with this hammer. I think I picked the other one up. Did I? Yep. Ah. He's secured. He's secured. Uh, Plop. 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 You thought today was Saturday. It's Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be aware of anything you're doing. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I always tell the dentist, give me so much Novocaine that I don't know you're in the room. That's that's how I feel about it. I don't even want to know you guys are there. Um, can you harvest these? Hey, Ensig. Good to see you. What time is it? Yeah, middle of the day. Um. That is a bow. That is a bow. 39%. I mean, it's certainly enough to go go up against the bear, though. I don't know that we need to make anything right now. We can make another arrow. Welcome back, Avatar. Hope you got some food. Uh, five hour stream is really long. 
Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? Sweet potato fries. Uh, uh, uh. And some corn on the side. So good. So good. Thank you. I'll be here all week. I was quite happy with today's TikTok. I thought that one came out good. I was very happy with yesterday's TikTok. And all my TikToks basically do the same thing. They get about 150 views. Regardless of regardless of quality. I never opened this. Wow. Hey, Owl Nugget. Snuggy. Great to see you. How are you? I forgot about all this cloth that's here. Can I add to this pile? How much cloth do I have? 38? Yeah, we can add to that. Nice. Well, I would be going out to kill the other bear. But, since it's all snowy and shit, I think I'll just stay here. Uh, Loper's going well, uh, Nuggy. I'm on day 178. Dunn is killing it on Loper. No, Burb is killing it on Loper. She's at like 2... 218? 219? Something like that. Officially a pro at this game. Oh, it depends on the map. It depends on the map. I'll say I'm better than I used to be. I never looked at this map up here before. Hmm. I guess that's coastal, huh? Are you as good as I once was? I feel like I'm doing better at the game without getting better at the game. That's been my big catchphrase. You get that on a t-shirt. I mean, it's no where's the beef. I'll admit that. It's no, did I do that? Or Bazinga? Or what you talking about, Willis? A dynamite? A... Waru! Good to see you, my friend. Hello, my friend! <laughs> Good to see you. You're off on a day trip with your mom to see her new house. Wow, that's exciting. That is very fun. Why am I even leaving? I don't know. Something to do. Oh, they're building it. Very cool. And having a nice lunch. Nice. I'm kind of surprised at how not cold I am. I mean, I'm cold, but... I think you know what I'm trying to say. I was wondering if the moose would be here, but it wasn't. Just seeing if there's curtains here. I destroyed your table long ago. This one, too. Your curtains have been taken. Nope, not these. <laughs> Be time for Santa Claus again pretty soon. Ho, ho, ho. I could destroy your chair. I will destroy your chair. The honky boy likes to ha hide in blizzards, yeah. Last time you were here, the moose and the bear double teamed you. Wow. Well, I'm looking for that bear. 
But he is absolutely authorized to show up. It was really awesome. It was really cool when dogs saw that bear. And there was a moose there. Wasn't a dream. Hey moose, let's go. I don't even see moose uh, rubbing moose. Oh, I have killed the moose here though. That's right, on this run I've killed him. Owl Nuggets is absolutely somebody who can redeem the hoot. You can't really hear it, though. I need to fix that. It works for you, too. <sighs> so you're out with your mom, like, right now? Like, is she watching the stream? Oh my god. I guess I might as well start working on a bow. There's nothing else to do. Give me this. Give me this. Yes, absolutely. going on yes what a jerk all fired up that was the last big hit I believe for Pat Benatar all fired up it wasn't a huge hit No respect, no respect. Well, I guess we're not hunting this bear tonight. Rained out on account of snow. Hey, Epicron, good to see you. How are you done? I am. I mean, sort of. We could look for him anyway. See if he's coming down the road. Uh -oh. I'm not ready for you. I got all kinds of meat and stuff on me, too. All right, Coro, have fun. We switch to mouse and keyboard. Where you at? There you are. Go. We'll leave you for later. Drink. Thank you. Well, I have Burb to thank for that. She's the one who really got me to stop running for my torch every time a, a wolf showed up. And basically, I'll only do it if it's flat ground. And I just wait 
until like my brain is like, oh my god, shoot, shoot, shoot. Like when it's really panicky, that's when I shoot. What a verb that you did. You also inspired me, Epicron. I think it was seeing Burb do it, but then you're the one who gave me the uh, the the tips. Now there's no way the bear is there, because if he was, that deer would not be. We could sleep in this trailer though. You just tank the wolves now? Do they even hurt you? With the vest? You're terrified of bears because you can't run with it, yeah. It's funny how you're in some situations you're very afraid of a bear and in other situations you're not afraid of them at all. It's very much scenario dependent. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. That's right, Astrid. Yes, if you know where they are, yeah. Hey, bear. What a loser. Oh, yeah, I don't have the points. No points. <laughs> uh, Nuggy, sorry. Hey, Peach B. How are you? How was your Saturday, B? That's not gonna work. There we go. Work was busy. I woke up fully rested, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Where are my skills at? Darkest harvesting five, cooking five, fire starting five, ice fishing two, archery five, mending three. That's it. But I assume by the time you get to day 500, your mending gets to five. harvest some torch. Oh, you know what? I could sharpen my uh, my knife. Where are you, knife? There you are. You think you're almost a four? Wow. I can't even imagine. I think this is the first time I've ever had archery five. I've had Cooking 5 a couple times, but Cooking 5 is actually comparatively easy to get compared to some of the other ones. Annie is starting to show some interest in trying Long Dark, but she only wants to do it if she can do it without killing any animals. And I asked her if, if fish were okay, and she said fish were fine. 
Hey, NL. Good to see you. You are not tired enough. My hatchet. I think you can viably survive on Pilgrim a very long time without killing any animals. Possibly, you know, as long as you fish. Presumably almost forever. I mean, even on Pilgrim, you'd run out of matches and stuff eventually. Yeah. Oh, that's it for the food. You won't run out of matches. Beachcombing has them? Wow. Oh, and the mag lens. That's true. Yeah. I didn't know you could get matches on beachcombing. Is that, isn't that not on Loper? Oh, and the tip-up. I forgot about the tip-up. The tip-up is so fun. I love the tip-up. Fire Strikers galore. Man, you guys are making me want to play Pilgrim. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Look at all my loot. I hate it. I know I'm not tired enough. I can't even imagine finding matches of uh, beachcombing. That would be amazing. Uh, can I leave? I don't. I don't want to be here. Don't you dare blizzard on me. Can you eat trees? Oh, this is pretty, actually. Old but pretty. There's our boy. This fire would never stay. Well, we do have a windbreak. Do I have coal on me? No, because I'm an idiot. If I pop him, I think he... You would think they would be all wet. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um... I don't want to waste a match on this fire. You know what? If he resets, so be it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to let him get a little closer. Why stand outside in the cold? Why stand outside in the cold when I can stand in here in the warm? Maglens weather was it? Oh yeah, it might have been. Doggy crackers. Ugh. Yeah, it is Maglens weather. Well, we're no risk here then. No harm, no foul. Soggy crackers. <laughs> what would you turn them into? Said I wasn't going to miss any chances to make water. Hey, the wind died down. Nice. Thicken them into a stew? That's actually not bad. <sighs> hey. 
Yeah, keep coming. <clears throat> Tasty rocks up here. Oh, he vanished. There he is. God, I need to find some hey there, big boy. This cold. A big beast of a boy. See how close I can get him to come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know, oh my god. Ah, I'm invisible. Oh, he can still see me. I'm really counting on him to stop at this fire. If I'm wrong. Nah, oh, man, you're supposed to die from the headshot. I'm freezing. What a loser. Rude. Absolutely. They sound so sad when they die, when they get hit, too. I feel, like, guilty. I thought that was going to be a one-shot. I got, you know, Archery 5. I was kind of hoping for it. Ah, well. Maybe I can find some more sticks. Here's some sticks. Don't lose well fed. I know I'm watching it. I have an emergency option. I got my Burbank if I need it. I was kind of hoping on him to take care of my well fed. All I can think about is food. Oh, Astro. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> I know that wasn't ready. Um, yeah, go ahead and make that. Make that. Get us a few calories. Now, I think we can make some acorns, but I think you have to, like, prep them first. I always forget, like, how to do the acorns. Prepared acorns. I should have checked to see how many bears I killed. Wow, beautiful weather. Make some here too. It says bears killed. Eighteen. I don't know if that was before or after this though. Did I ever mend my boots? I did. Pretty sure. Yummy, yummy acorns. Big hundred calories. <laughs> Not a lot. I think maybe he went back to his house to die. We 
could go check it out. I think I made my boots. Yes, I did. I forget where his house is. Gross. All bears are dead. Can I have my floating arrow back, please? Thank you. I'll just take one, just for the well-fed, and then I'll come back. I'll get you guys, too. All right, so all coastal Jesus bears are dead. Cold. Again. So that was our goal for the stream. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We do have some water that we didn't finish uh, getting done. All right, Nuggie, thanks so much for being here. Great to see you. All right. Now that that's happened. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> I'm dumb. No, you're going to kill my fire. I know it. Never trust the Joker. Oh, here it comes. My fingers feel numb. Here comes the weather. Did the fire stay lit? Can't tell. Oh, so cold. I don't know why I went that way, Astrid. It would have been faster to go the other way. The smell of bear meat is making you hungry. <laughs> Should just make a fire, you know, where he is. We are still wind broken this location. Are you guys are each gonna take uh fifty minutes? What if I slept for an hour? This is about where you start prepping 12 fires. Yeah. That's what a smart player would do. I remember some of your amazing fires on Stalker. 
That one you had at um, Broken Railroad. Nice. Good. All right, you're almost dead. What if we went over here? Epic dad grilling moment, yeah. <laughs> All you needed was the like click click, the tong things. Kiss the cook apron. Why you gotta be this way, TLD? Huh? Why you gotta do this to me, TLD? Why you gotta be this way, TLD? Doesn't work, it doesn't work. Hey Magic Jack, good to see you. Come on, little fire. We'll just throw sticks at it just in case it doesn't work. I kind of forgot I won't stay warm. I've never felt so cold in my life. I feel more protected on this side for some reason. <laughs> How far off are we on temp? Okay, yeah. We don't have enough fuel to get the fire hot enough. That's okay. I think we can let these cook. They're gonna finish. Oh, you know what, though? It's an outdoor fire. It's gonna burn longer than I think it is. I forgot. Guess we'll let them finish. So if it's 18 below here, or 16 below here, how how is it if we move away from the fire? 22. I mean, I guess I should speed these if I'm going to stay here. Ah. Well, the other thing I could do, take torches, make sure this doesn't burn my meat. There we go. Give me this. I'll be back tomorrow, dude. I know where I'm going. <sighs> 
Safety. Mm, guess I'll destroy a shelf. That felt good. Thing is indestructible. Anything left to destroy? Pillow. How come I can't do these pillows? Why can't I do that? Damn it. I didn't mean to sleep. I don't know. Seventy nine, ninety four, eighty two, ninety two, hundred, seventy four. That's the only one, huh? Should be able to go get that meat quick. Should be some light. A little bit. Need to send me lurk? No problem. No problem. Oh, it, I need to update that Moobot so it says who that's actually no, talking about. It's talking about Zach. Shelter. <laughs> really? Didn't you just finish blizzarding? Are you serious? You just did this. Get some new material. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Might be worth a quick mind trip for Cole. I I don't disagree. Oh, I shamed the blizzard into going away. Wow. <laughs> we have blizzard at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't know I could tell the blizzards to stop and they would just do it. That's pretty great. Here, eat that. Yeah, let's, um, oh, I'm so bad at finding the mine from here though. Maybe it'll be better, better do in the morning. I get lost. What's the rush? What's the rush? We have Blizzard at home. Um, uh, we can only sleep six hours. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. This is such a waste. Nice. Thanks very much. 
Uh, we used to have rabbit gloves, but they fell apart. I'm considering the the value of deer pants versus combat pants. But I didn't have enough deer hide to do it when I was thinking about it. Damn it. Yeah, the wolf ate our, our ear wraps. You have one of each. What, combat on the outside, deer on the inside, or vice versa? Deer on the outside. That's better. What's it take to repair this bear hide? We have so many bear hides. We're going to get another one, too. Uh, I can't sleep. I still, it's probably only going to be six. That sucks. Um... Try to get seven. That must be wind. I love it in coastal, like, I feel like the roar is extra cool looking here. Very windy. We got a couple hours before a daytime. Light time. Uh, I don't know. Make a bandage. Thank you. How many bandages do I have now? Six. Six bandages, eight old man's beards, two stems. Still have, what, 51, 56, 64 matches. Mag lens and three low quality fire strikers. Hey, Packer. I have not gotten rid of this cache. I have no idea why. I've just been carrying it around. Uh, I'm carrying around two tenders for no reason. Yes, I could ask time. Man, I am sleepy already. It's a good sign. I need to go to bed early. It is a good sign that I'm already sleepy. Hey, beautiful Maglens weather. 
people. Cooked bear meat. That's Moo Moo Farm from Mario Kart. Anytime I'm like running around, I always think of that song. Ah, oh, Maglens went away. Ooh. <laughs> Leave that there. Figure out how we get up to the, um, what a jerk. Oh, hey, Packer. I'm sorry if I didn't say hi. Absolutely, <laughs> in my brain, acknowledge that you were here, but I may not have said anything about it. I apologize. Hope you're doing well. Oh, crap. My water's over there. Do football is back tomorrow for those of you in the United States of America. American football is back. That means the Packers are back. Your power is out. Oh no! From the from weather like a storm. No. 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 Oh my gosh. I guess I didn't sleep good last night. I did stay up later than I intended to. Playing Hearthstone. So cool. Nearby storm that possibly this looked at your power lines the wrong way. Ever. That is frustrating. I'm not really a sports fan at this point. I used to be. Um, I guess I'm still... There are sports that I like to watch on a theoretical level, but I don't root for anybody anymore. Like, it, a baseball game or a football game or whatever is interesting to watch on a... Hmm, that was a good pitch. Wow, what a good pass. Look at the block that guy did. Like, that's interesting, but I don't really care anymore. Who wins? They all win. They're all mega millionaires. They're all winning. I like minor league sports. That's fun, but that's really just baseball for the most part. You like watching hockey, occasionally baseball? I do, I do like... I think hockey is probably the hardest one. Like, I think it takes the most skill. Pickleball. Oh, pickleball is very popular up here.
They have pickleball courts all over the place here. Pickleball is just like tennis with the, uh, it's like a combo of tennis and uh, badminton, ping pong. Something like that? Something like that. Pickleball. Ah, crap. I have to use a match. I ain't into that. I can kind of see. But I'm not going to see coal. Can I craft a torch? I'm gonna light a match. I want to get good use out of this thing. Yes! Huge tennis fan! Nice, nice. Mega torch activate. There's coal right there. Stepped right on it. I don't know any tennis people. I don't know anything. About anything. Agassiz was yours years ago. How did I miss this last time? Wow. This stuff will come in handy. Wow. That's huge. Whoever told me to go in the mine, thank you. Stem and old King Coles, yeah. Thank you, Epicron. Greatly appreciated. <laughs> you are having such a good time. I'm sorry, B. B's still mad at me for that picture I put in a uh, Hobbit chat. I won't do that again. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably true. I don't know. The glare she made at the camera, that didn't feel like that was you were the target of that glare. I felt like I was the target of that glare. It was disgusted. Absolute disgust. Ugh. <laughs> like she recoils when she sees ugh. So good. I felt so bad and so good at the same time. I'm not sure if I put that picture in the general discord, so I will have to uh, put that out there. I just made some, used mid journey to uh, make some old King Cole stuff. Can you climb up this? You can. Wow. This is cool. Oh, look at that. 
What happens if I throw the torch? Hang on, maybe I'll drop the torch. Throw something else, like a rock. No. Alright, I don't want to risk my whole freaking run on this. That's neat, though. You just found. <laughs> what did you find? Did I post it in um, in regular Discord? I might have. It's true that it doesn't blow up my torch. That's true. Oh, that's good then. Alright, so you guys know what I'm talking about then. <laughs> I was proud of it, I thought it came out good. <laughs> Nice weather, nice warm weather. I don't remember if Poro acknowledged it or not. Yeah. Isn't this the fire tower? Foggy, you can't even tell if it's there. Shouldn't the little houses be over here? <laughs> Sometimes you think she ignores OKC as a tactic. <laughs> yeah, here's the little houses. I think she's neutral on OKC. Can't believe I missed that stem in the mine all this time. You enjoy the chaos it causes. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, old, old King Cole was supposed to be a Koru troll. Not a, a bee troll. Supposed to be a Koru troll.
kind of the target has kind of shifted. <laughs> she shouldn't be neutral. She should not, because Old King Cole was a weapon against her. Back here. Plenty of coal. <sighs> yeah, sure. That's true. <laughs> the emote bothers Come you more. On, Come on. <laughs> I respect being bothered by old K coal emote. It's terrible emote. I'm not sure I can carry much more. It's very low quality. I feel like it's an objectively bad emote, but I respect that other people like it. He is a friendly guy. He's a friendly old soul. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. That part's true. <laughs> you didn't say it's amazing, you just said you love it. <laughs> I've made Borsi mode, so I'll say that. I can't feel my hands. Should probably make a second fire. A little close. Yeah. It wouldn't be as much fun. <laughs> More fires are always good. Come on, little fire. I'm guaranteed to accidentally walk into one of them. Oh, he's still too far away. Oh, nope, there we go. I do want some water and some fire or some bear. Cryo is watching with you. Hey, Cryo. Good to see you. Not a super exciting stream, but a stream nonetheless. One of the streams of all time. How long? Two minutes?
<laughs> Fire nuggets. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Fire Owl, I like it. Born from the ashes. I'm not sure I'm hearing much more. That way I can get more water going too. I'm just trying to build like just this huge stockpile of food. And just leave some in, in different locations. Are you done? Lots of sizzling. ASMR stream. I don't want to jinx it. I'm just going to say not much has been messing up my fires. If I can drop any of this gear. So happy with how sleepy I am. This is good. All right, you're cooked. Over to the done pile. Get one from the Ramsey pile. You're still cooking, you're still cooking. You are potable. How much water do we have now? 2.5, we'll let one of them stop. You keep going, though. Just run out of water too fast ever since I lost my pot. well in Dunland. Any feathers? Do I grab the guts? You bought something, say, for a possible new stream setup. I am really excited to hear about it if you want to share. Herb, sleep well. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, psychotic deer. Good to see you. Up, oh, order up. Tales of our endeavors. Hey, Epicron with the Navy story. All right, let me just get this situated here. Thank you very much. He wasn't uh, he wasn't too hard. <laughs> like I I kind of cheesed him. 
trying to decide now, do I take any of the guts? I've got so many guts, but you know what? You'll run out eventually. I will get to that Navy story in just a minute. Keep watering, please. Keep cooking, keep cooking. All right, you guys are done. Order up. Shooting a, be uh, a bear near a fire pit in speeding time. Yeah, I think I've heard about that one. Yeah, and he'll bl like bleed out faster, I think. How long in this fire? One hour, 23. All right, what I want to do is just run over to the trailer real quick to get a save. I've done so much work, I don't want to lose it. Super foggy. Good thing it's pretty much a straight shot to the trailer. I get lost. This is coastal. Don't crash. Thank you. All right. Navy story time. Let's go. I'm gonna get my water. All right, I'm back. Let's spin the wheel. Thank you, Epicron, for the redeem. Is Epicron that redeemed that? Yeah. All right, yeah. Following up the Monaco story. That's a that's a hard uh, a hard story to follow. Italy has a story that is probably one of my top three, and we haven't heard it yet. But we didn't get Italy. Let's see. Go to boot. <laughs> but Italy is a boot. <laughs> All right. Orders. This is technically not a boot camp story, but instead an A school story. So after boot camp, I went to A school. Uh, to learn my specific rating. Boot camp teaches you kind of the general Navy stuff, you know, how to paint, how to drink coffee, things like that. The stuff that you need to know. A knot, I guess. Um, apparently swimming. There were people in, you know, boot camp who did not know how to swim, which astonished me. But A school is the school that you go to to learn your specialty. So in my case, I went to Radium in A school, learn how to be a Radioman. And Radium in A school is 13 weeks long. We started with a class of 25. We graduated with a class of 12. So half the people in my class failed out. And, um, well, that's the promotion story. So I'll tell you what happened there. But... Uh, radio man. Yep, that's that was my rating. It is no longer a rating that you can be in the Navy. It was the rating was dissolved. It is now DP, data processor. They combined a couple different ratings into that. But I was a radio man, so that means radio man S. Uh, radio man. I was a RMSR, radio man seaman recruit when I came in. That's an E one. 
And uh, I made E2 while I was in A school. So I was already been seaman apprentice. Slight pay increase. So when we were done with A school, we put into our what's called a dream sheet for your very first orders. And most people coming out of boot camp or A school will go to a ship. Not always, but seem likely. And so I put in for three different types of ships. I requested an aircraft carrier, a battleship, or a guided missile cruiser. Because I wanted to be on something that, you know, was cool. Stuff that you saw on TV. Things that you saw on Top Gun and in the movies. You know, all this cool shit. And I remember that when my orders came in, I got the USS Denver LPD-9. And I was like, I don't know what an LPD is. I don't know what the USS Denver is. But it's a big Navy. So there was a hallway in A school that had a picture of every single ship in the Navy. And so I just started going down the hall. And I was like, okay, yeah, okay. And then, and then I get to I get to the Denver, and I'm like, Ugh, what the hell is that? It was this big, square, box-looking ship. It was not impressive at all. And uh, I was very disappointed in uh, that process. And uh, so it, the USS Denver, which is where all the ship stories take place, is an amphibious transport dock. That's what it's called. It basically is um, a ship that is l mostly carries Marines and their landing gear, and it does amphibious landings. It backs up to the beach, lowers its well deck so that the well deck floods, fills itself with water, and then the little hovercraft and little boats go out, and the Marines go ashore and you know do their Marine things, and then you slowly limp away while everything shoots at you. It's big, it's slow, it could only go about 20 knots, and uh, there's nothing cool about it at all. It doesn't have a single cool gun, it has one three-inch gun on the front. And as I later discovered, we couldn't hit the broadside of a damn barn with that thing. We were terrible at it. We did have a Sea Whiz, one of those little R2-D2 looking shoot 6,000 rounds in two minutes to shoot down missiles and stuff. But we didn't have any cool weapons, so it was, you know, we had to be escorted anywhere we were going to go. So I was quite disappointed <laughs> in that. In the end, I'm kind of glad that that's what I ended up on, because, um, you know, those other ships go on even longer deployments than we would go on. Aircraft carriers sometimes go on eight-month deployments because they're so expensive to keep floating. You want to get your money's worth out of them. But that was the orders that I got. You can Google it. It no longer exists. Uh, it was at one time the oldest active duty ship in the Navy. <laughs> what she just thought on cool ship. I actually have a lot of nostalgia for the Denver. And they... Um, it was sunk a few years ago. It was decommissioned, I think, 15 or so years ago. And then they sunk it as part of like a just, let's fire at something. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was sunk as part of a training exercise. And uh, yeah, it was a little emotional to see that, uh, to watch that video. That was my college, basically. That was my, you know, I reported aboard that ship when I was 18. And I left at 22. And, uh, you know, that was the years that most of you, if you went to college, that's, that's, those were th those years for me. So, and, you know, I, I reported aboard single. I left that ship married with a kid. I'm actually going to combo this story because it's a pretty short story. So I'm going to combo it with the promotion. So, yeah, it was a very kind of important part of my life. I don't know that I loved it when I was there, but I can tell you that I still have Navy dreams all the time. And despite the fact that I was stationed in 
you know, in Maine and in uh, Sicily, I never dream about those places. My Navy dreams are always on the ship. So I'm going to combo this with one other story on this wheel, which is the promotion wheel, because they're kind of interconnected. So, as I mentioned, radium in A school was 13 weeks long. We started with a class at like 24, 25. We graduated with 12. And the majority of our class failed out. A lot of them failed out during week four, which was radio wave propagation, which is a really complicated deal with a lot of math. And um, I was quite surprised because I barely graduated high school. Although it was because I absolutely hated school and just paid, you know, just wanted nothing to do with it. I loved the radium at work. It was fascinating to me. So I entered the final week of radium in A school, week 13, ranked second in the class. There was one guy ranked ahead of me. I had like a 96 or something, and he had like a 98. And I had no shot at catching him. Now, the person who graduates top of their class gets a promotion to petty officer. I was an E2. That would automatically make me an E4. And the difference between a seaman recruit or seaman apprentice or even a seaman and a petty officer is significant. Petty officers can give law lawful orders. They can you know, lead duty parties. And it was a big deal. And he was very excited because he knew he was going to get that. And I didn't really think about it too much because I knew I wasn't going to get it. Uh, you know, I had kicked ass and I was so proud that I had the number two spot. I didn't care about not getting number one. Well, that last week, he went down to Tijuana to celebrate and got himself arrested. And they held him back two weeks. So he ended up in a different class. Suddenly, I was number one. So suddenly, I was graduating top of my class. Technically, the other guy was top of the class. He was a little bit better than me, but he was an idiot, and I wasn't. So, so, so as an 18-year-old kid, they then come to me and say, you know, congratulations, Seaman, Seaman Apprentice Heyman, when you report to your new ship, the USS Denver, you will do so as a third class petty officer. You know, you will do so. And that meant more money. And it meant a whole bunch of bullshit on the ship that I wouldn't have to do. Normally, when you report to a ship as a seaman or a seaman apprentice, a seaman recruit, you have to do mess cooking for six months where you got to go work in the galley and you got to go clean, you know, clean, all this nasty work. I wouldn't have to do any of that. And I would be leading duty parties and I would be leading, uh, you know, shifts. And I remember, and I, I, the reason I remember this so clearly is I feel like this is my first adult moment. I asked them, do I have a choice? And they said, Yes. And I said, I, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think I'm ready to be a petty officer. I'm 18 years old. I'm not ready to give people orders. I'm not ready to run duty parties. And like, no one's going to respect me. I wouldn't respect me. I just freaking got here. So you don't want the promotion? No, I, I don't think I do. So you don't want all that extra money. Well, I mean, I do, but I feel like this is setting me up to, to be bad. Like, I'm not going to be a good leader. I don't know how to be a leader. So I turned it down. I had to sign paperwork. They had to go get the paperwork to turn it down. They had only showed up with the congratulations for your promotion paperwork. And I have never once looked back on that moment as anything other than the right decision. Because once I got to the ship and I saw what petty officers did, I knew that would have been a disaster. I would have been in charge of people older and more experienced than me. And that did happen to me later in my career. I, multiple times in my career, I ended up having people much older than me work for me. <clears throat> 
but I wasn't ready. And it was the right, it was the right call. And I've always been kind of really proud of that decision. Uh, petty officers are basically the lowest rank you can be in the Navy and give a lawful order. And if someone doesn't follow it, they can actually get written up and be court-martialed. And Yeah, I feel like that was a moment that helped me understand, you know, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, understand, know your limitations. And I, I wanted to be a petty officer, but I wanted to earn it. And I felt like I hadn't earned it. And I didn't want to show up. No, no, <laughs> no k and it did not. <laughs> I didn't want to show up and just, you know, be some dumb 18-year-old kid telling 20-year-olds what to do. I was, I wanted to learn how to be a leader, not have it, you know, just kind of dropped on me. And uh, if you read, particularly, um, I ended up in a lot of leadership roles later in my life, both in the Navy and outside of the Navy. At one point at one of my previous jobs, I had uh, over 50 people working for me in four different countries. I walked away from that whole life a long time ago. Um, I'm not interested in, there's money in that life, but there's not a lot of fun or, or stress relief in that life. Um, but I did have a lot of people working for me at one time, and I was very proud to be a good leader. And I think that all starts at that point. And I was going to say, if you read um, Fractured Everest Book 6 and Book 7, as well as One More Turn, have a lot of my kind of thoughts about leadership are in, in those books, about what makes a good leader versus what makes a bad leader. I saw so much interesting leadership philosophy in the Navy, and I saw so many people. Basically, it comes down to two things. Respect me because I earned it, or respect me because I said so. And I never ran into a respect me because I said so leader who was a good one. I always ended up modeling myself after the people who earned my respect didn't just say, well, you know, I got this on my arm, so you got to do what I say. And uh, that just really, really, really influenced me. And I think all of that starts right there. So I feel like that's a more interesting story than just the orders story, but those kind of go together. So I, I comboed them, which means we take two off the wheel, uh, unfortunately. We are running out. We're down to four. I may have to crack, you know, rack my brain and try to think of some more. I'm sure I can come up with something. But that is tonight's uh, Navy story. So thank you very much, Epicron, for redeeming that. And uh, we will head back to uh, the game. Uh, on some level, I guess that's a aren't I wonderful story, which is a little weird. But uh, <laughs> I am proud of that one. Sometimes it's okay to be proud of what you've done. I think as a society, we kind of discourage people because arrogance is not a good trait. But we, I think we've gone too far. and We didn't discourage people from being proud of themselves. You should be proud of things that you've done. Hey, I'm on day 180 here, I think. I'm proud of that. That's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> the other guy totally could have been that. Um, totally could have been top of this class. But he wasn't. Thanks very much, Psychotic Deer. Thank you, Nuggy. Oh, pancakes, man, so good. Look at all these fires. Do you think it's cool looking? <laughs> I was very disappointed when I saw it. Ah, the other guy was an idiot, and he probably was going to be a bad leader, too, because he was so excited to be a petty officer. So, he may have been smart, but he was also stupid.
Yeah. I mean, obviously, he was 18, 19 as well. No, no one got it, Oliver. That's a good question. If I turned it down, did someone else get it? Yeah, no one got it. Well, I had good moral examples and, uh, you know, a lot of my time with the Navy was, you know, inspired by my grandfather and, and he, he had a lot of those types of morals in him. My dad was always a very hard worker, very honest, blue collar guy. I think I learned a lot from him too. My parents are not perfect, made lots of mistakes. So did I. And, you know, even the guy who, who, you know, blew the promotion, he was, you know, he's a teenager too. 90% of the stupid shit I've done in my life was between, you know, 17 and 21. You're, you're kind of an idiot at that age. Kind of hard to be, to not be stupid. And I definitely did some stupid things. Your idiot face is over. <laughs> yeah. Now I try to keep my stupid things to be in game. I do stupid things here. And yeah, I mean that that dude made a mistake, but that is how you learn. Did he learn from the mistake? I hope so. Autobot censored idiot. That's interesting. All right. Even though these fires are still going, I don't really think there's anything productive we can do with them. I already have five liters of water. I don't really want to leave all this meat here, though. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh, sure you can, Astrid. Carry 50 pounds of meat. You can do it. Look at you. Sprint. <laughs> oh, you're hungry? Here, have some meat. <laughs> have some more. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> there you go. No, that did nothing. <laughs> I'm going to leave it all by the trailer. It's easier to find than this spot. Oh. Yeah, he's going to be coming for me. There you go, dude. You ran? Now I want to know where you are. Come back. I don't mind having all the meat. I just don't want to. I want to be able to move. Did he run from the bear corpse? Yeah, pick up the saplings too. <laughs> I'll move this a, a little bit at a time, I guess. Did he run from the bear corpse? There he is. Come back. Come back. Wolfie. Wolfie, don't be a hero. Might be the fires, too. 
Wolfie, don't be a hero. Don't be a fool with your friend. I missed. Why did he stop there? Wolfie, don't be a hero. I can skin you. Right. Hey, dragon, that name, the fox. Fall. Welcome in, raiders. He's so confused. He doesn't know what to do. Holy cheese on a cracker. Hey, roller, good to see you. Dragon named fox, good to see you. <laughs> Loving the meat sprawl, thank you. I'll give you a shout out. What were you up to today? Project Zomboid, nice. Should I attack? Should I not? He doesn't know. He's confused. Poor Wolfie. Hey, Tommy. Nice to see you. Welcome in. Riverside is like a ghost town now. It's dusk, so I can't can't be far behind. Yeah, I guess I'll sleep. We'll deal with this tomorrow. The weather started getting rough. Tiny Astrid was tossed. Drink. Not the shambling kind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could actually take a drink and then sleep again. No problem with raiding and fading there, Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Am I shooting for 500? It all depends on a very tiny burb. As long as she is going, I'm going. So she's at 217, 218, something like that. Some ridiculous number. So if she doesn't stop, I can't stop. Thanks very much, Dragon. Appreciate it. He's still out here somewhere. Bed. Better. Do you just lope now? I think for the most part, I do. I mean, I don't know about it being second nature. It really, really depends on the map. Some situations I'm better than others, but yeah. I mean, the most important thing for me always is to have fun. If I'm having fun, then I'm okay with it. If Loper ever requires me to play in a way that isn't fun to me, that's why Nagoa isn't fun for me. 
there's just it's just not a fun play style for me super understand other people enjoy it totally okay no judgment I like to watch people in the Goa. I do like that. And I can see, like, ooh, could I get to day 10 on the Goa? Like, that would be fun. But, you know, could I get to day 100? I think... You know, I don't know. I'm having a blast right now. Right now... You know... What? Not that. This one. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That's right. I can feel it insidiously working into me. I'm getting overconfident. I heard a meat in there. Come on! I will not speak bad of the pile of crap system, but... <laughs> Having said that... There. Better make a note. Um... more stuff. I do notes. <laughs> that was a note. I do notes. Gur yum as opposed to moo yum. I guess there would be gur yum moo yum Bork yum. I don't know what deer would be. <laughs> want to try something. So can I? It's important. Uh, part of what I want to try is can I sprint? No, you can't sprint too heavy. So if you just do this, does it go out in a nice straight line? Like she's just pooping meat out? <laughs> kind of. Be a good way to make a blizzard line if you did super didn't care about the meat. <laughs> it feels like pooping meat out. Yeah, it's gross. I admit that. I know, <laughs> the thick lines make it worse. <laughs> no. There you go. There's a hole in my backpack, yeah. Oh, Astrid, now it looks like we have so far to walk. That wolf is still out there. I need to find the sled will make it easier, yeah. If it works the way we think it does, yes. I want to know if you can ride the sled. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. I 
Except I'm confident we won't be able to. But... Alright, well this was very successful. All my dreams are coming true. Do I if I don't warm up soon? You have to pull a travoy. Okay. Well, if it's got sled skids, though. Ah. <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> we haven't gone very far at all. But the bear has been fully processed. Now we're going to go back to the gas station. We lit one match in the mine and ended up uh, doing four fires with it. Already got these. Ah! Oh, I asked it for heaven's sakes. That'd be great. Nope, though. The only reason I'm approaching this with so much kind of vigor is I've killed most of the wolves. They are slowly coming back, though. Bastards. Not this guy. What's on tap next? Probably dropping off the new um, bear. And probably continuing the bow construction. How much more time do we need on this? 6.7? 4.3? Yeah, let's just go. Let's just do that right now, man. 4.3. Switch. Give me it all. Our community grows. Kelly Kelly 13 thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. You are follower number 681. Um, uh, I have done some beachcombing, yes. I found something while beachcombing that I didn't know you could get from beachcombing, but now I don't remember what it was. I want to put that bow down so that I don't start using it. Harvest this. Harvest this. If the weather allows me, I think uh, for the rest of the stream, I will just attempt to bring death to wolves. Put this up here, please. Thank you. How many arrows do we have? That's a freak. Oh my goodness. Oh, Astrid. How much longer? Two hours? I don't know. I got like eight bandages, sir. Go ahead. I'm doing well, Kelly. Thank you. How are you doing? Sounds windy. Nope. Well, yes. But not Blizzard. Nocturnal Druid, thank you so much for the nine month resub. I so appreciate your support on many, many fronts. Thank you very, very much. Druid, you are always, always here. Such a wonderful contributor. So great to have you.
And Druid, since you're here and Avatar's here and I think Northern's here as well, um, for my Patreon folks, I sometimes, I'm trying to be good about remembering to let you guys get the YouTube link a day before it goes live. That's a manual process and you can't schedule it. So sometimes I forget or sometimes I have a weird video like the race one that I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to post that. But for the most part, I'm trying to put those up to you guys first. So I hope that's working for you. So Kelly, do you play uh, Long Dark? I'm going to guess that you do. It is working good. I try to get it right more than I get it wrong. I don't think there's a wolf out here. All I wanted to do was kill. Is that so wrong? A kind gesture. Oh, Avatar, thank you for the thank you for the gifted sub to Kelly Kelly. That's very, very kind. Greatly appreciate that. Sixteen gift subs, that's bananas. Thank you, Avatar. Don't play games, you have bad eyes, but you like watching games. Well, that's awesome. Uh, the bad eyes thing is not awesome. But I'm glad to um, provide uh, a game for you to watch being played then. Well, if I can't kill a wolf, what's the next best thing? What I should be doing is ice fishing. A resplendent offering. Aw, Druid, thank you for the bits. There's a wolf. There we go. The way we can practice our... our torchless bow killing. Thank you so much for the bits. You like this game, it's very chill. I completely agree. It is... 95% relaxing and 5% terrifying, but it is mostly relaxing. Thank you, guys. There's no reason to get a, a train going. I, I feel very, very appreciated. Thank you so much. This is cooked. So I will eat it. I think I may have a little, little contact stink from that. Hey, guys. Hey, wolves. It's almost like you guys don't want to die. Watch me screw this up. He had a hard skull, though, didn't he? Got the Last of Us Part 1 is accessibility. Oh, is that true? Yeah, this game is so chill, so relaxing. Why are you running away? Come back. There we go. Don't leave me now. Don't say it's the end. But... Remember the flowers I bought you. I need you, wolf. All right, now I think everything's dead. Thing. Seems pretty good. What? Did I see some movement down there? Nope, it's a rock. <laughs> I have become Death Destroyer of Wolves. I love that track from the wall, yeah. Okay. Don't leave me now. That leads to another brick in the wall, part three, which is actually my favorite part of those of that one. Everyone knows part two. That's the one they play on the radio. I used to be able to just sing the wall, like 
from start to finish without much. I would have to... What? What is the next thing? But for the most part, I could do it. Long time ago. I was very obsessed with the wall. I allow you to live. Majestic creature. You haven't tried to play much in all honesty. Very light sense. We just prefer to watch. Absolutely. Absolutely, Kelly. Well, I hope that operation helps out. But uh, there's lots of uh, great long dark streamers out there. And also me. Uh, but I do play long dark, I think, four, usually about four nights a week. I would say if you want to learn how to play the long dark well, there's other people that are a better watch. But if you want to watch someone have a good time with the long dark, I think I'm pretty good on that department. Can you open the hood of this? I've never tried. No. This one? No. I bet you can with this. No, it's bent in and bang. Wow. I never noticed how smashed up all these cars are. How about you? Late for me? Probably catching videos during the day. Absolutely. I will be getting off here pretty soon. Especially since the weather has decided to rain on my parade here. I wonder if I have enough stuff to make deer pants. Wouldn't mind some deer pants. That might be some... Get me the the drip. The deer pant drip. Cured. 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 I think it's three. That's two. Don't I have another deer around here somewhere? Bear. Moose. Bear. 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 Jeez, man. The bears are really adding up here. <laughs> Damn it. I should have killed that deer when I had a chance. I think it's three, though, isn't it? Um, pants, pants, pants. Three. Ugh. Yeah, oh, absolutely, Druid. Absolutely. There's a lot of songs that it feels weird if the next song doesn't start after it's over. What condition are these? 68%. Maybe we should start organizing things in here a little better. Like, have the cured stuff in one room and the uncured stuff in another room. Like, this could be the curing room. Like, this stuff is all cured, so we take all this stuff out. But that one isn't cured, so we leave it there. Take the guts, maybe put them over here. Oh, they don't count. Hang on. Uh, here, right? Drop, pin. drop, all. No. You're cured, so you stay. Eat the bear meat. And who isn't cured? You are cured. You are cured. You are cured. 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 Where's the uncured? Here it is. Come with me. You're over here. Okay. Now, your cloth. You're cured. You are not cured. You are not cured. Now, bear hide. 
Oh, you're also not cured. We're running out of room out here. Okay. Air hide cured. Air hide cured. Air hide cured. Okay. Here. Here. Is that it? That's it. For here. For this location. I keep thinking this is a hide, this big pile of cloth. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've done all that. And then is this a ruined uh, whetstone? No, it's 100% whetstone. Oh, wow. What is this? Cured leather? The, you are not cured. You go out here in the into the curing room. This is where things cure. How dare you? Oh, and we have more. We have more. Hang on. We have a bunch of uh, birch saplings we just picked up. How dare you not be cured? Exactly. Frankly, it's rude. Okay. These are all cured. All right. Happy with all of that. Now, weather outside. Is it frightful? Oh, the weather outside is workable. If there are no jerkables. So on to the ice we go. In the snow, in the snow, in the snow. Because there's a deer out here. You know, all I'm doing is losing my arrow. <laughs> that's all that's going to happen here. Hold your bow, hold your bow, hold your bow. Better. Very much better, Epicron. Well done. <laughs> Come on, dude. Can't you just hurry up? Get over here. What I suck at is distance shots. Oh, you were actually facing away from me. Hey, okay, stop. How dare you? He laughed at that. Took you long enough. That's me, not him. Okay, hang on, dude, because the first thing I need to do is get my damn arrows back before I forget where they are, and I already forgot where they are. My fingers feel numb. I think another one went farther. Oh my god. Aha! Is it goddamn freezing? 
I mean, I could go come back and get it when it's a little more hospitable out. I was gonna ice fish. I have to use a match though. Oh. Hey, it's my pot! My pot! Hooray! <laughs> oh, yay, it's pot! Hooray! <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I have been missing that like pot. Is coming. Come on, little fire. That took, I can't tell how long that took. All right, give me two hours of water. Big water. I know that pot has been waiting for me to come back for so long. I'm doing this mostly just to get the skill up. Might as well eat it, though. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You're fine. Okay, hey, what do we got? Two hours left on this. Clear, clear the hole, please. Give me two hours. Craft tackle, but no start fishing. I should make more of the lures. Ooh, that's a big boy. Put the pot back. Put the fish. Big beast of a fish. Let's add some more time to this fire. I think I'm gonna have to stay here a bit because of this storm. Might as well fish some more. How much water do I have? Plenty. Fish dinner. Another big one. Drop any of this gear. Whoa! Look at that! I have never caught this fish. That's cool. Hey, CJ. Let's eat it. Getting a bit thirsty. All right, Astrid. That's neat. I've never seen that one. hours. Give me one more, one more hour. I wish I could craft a lure. Can I do that? Um, do you have to have a, uh, 
I think you need like wire or like the fuses or something. Or wires. You need wires to do it. But fishing lure. Do you need a table is what I wanted. Yeah, you do need the workbench. That's disappointing. I can lay down and have a little sleep right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna let you sleep. How's our fishing skill? We raised it a bit. I'm excited. Ice fishing, almost up to three. All right, Astro, I'm gonna let you uh, catch an hour here. And uh, I am gonna take this save as my save. 181 days, 21 hours, nine minutes is where we are at. That's going to do it for me for tonight. Uh, thanks very much, everybody, for hanging out. And uh, let's see. I want to thank Nocturnal Druid for the bits, Avatar for the gifted sub to Kelly Kelly, uh, Nocturnal Druid for the nine month resub, Kelly Kelly for the follow, Dragon Name Fox for the raid, uh, the Navy Story Redeem from Epicron, Avatar with the raid, and Umbre 20 with the follow. And thank you to my patrons, Susie O'Lear, Nocturnal Druid, and Dunn's Chair, a.k.a. Avatar. Let's uh, look at our rating options. And uh, let's see. Where do we want to go? I'm going to look at Twitch. It's out there. Um, I think I would like to raid Slid. Let's go raid Slid Holmes. We haven't raided him in a bit. He's doing the old TLD. And uh, that's good enough for me. So thanks very much for watching. Stay safe. Take care of each other. I will see you guys next time, which is tomorrow night. Bye-bye.